What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Dad Toys video. Today I have a custom figure tutorial for you guys. I'm going to be showing you a few uh, tips and tricks on how to customize, you know, some basic things here and there. Today's video is going to be about removing logos and marks from your figures, preferably logos and tattoos. You know, today we're going to be removing this logo from the Triple H trunks. Um, we may go ahead and remove it from the back as well just to give you guys a quick little shot. But um, this is just a basic thing that goes into customizing. You know, if you want to remove that and, you know, put on a different logo, you have decals or something you want to put on there instead to change up the attire, that is what you can do. Um, the thing you will need the most is this right here. This is 100% Acetone Pro Strength Nail Polish Remover. You can get it for like three or four bucks over at Walgreens, I believe. And Undisputed Brotherhood did do a video on this, but he recommended using clear nail polish, and that does work, but I've found that this works a lot better. It's very strong, though, so do not leave it on there too long. I'll show you exactly how to do it in just a few moments, but... Um I want to give a shout out to Undisputed Brotherhood because he gave me the idea for this. He said um, to use that, but I wanted to give you guys, you know, a different option if you didn't uh, have nail polish, clear nail polish, or you didn't want to go get it and you would rather use this. Maybe you like this better. Um, all you will need is just a towel, you know, the pink MDT towel right here, and then um, this right here. So all I'm going to do is literally show you exactly how to do this all in one shot. You see, I remove the cap. All you do is take the towel right here. I put my finger underneath just like this, stick it in the hole, uh, pull it down right there so you get some there, and then you just literally just wipe it straight off and you will literally see instant results just like that. So look at that, the logo is completely gone already. And if you'll notice it's very shiny, that is because it takes off the uh, dull finish off of the figure as well. So. Um, you will definitely have to reseal it if you want to give it that matte look, but I do um, think this is much easier. You see how fast that happened. It can remove it just like that, and I guess we can go ahead and do the same on this side. Um, one thing, though, do not um, use this without parents' permission if you are under the age of, I guess I would say, probably 14 or 13. Um, this stuff is harmful if you're overexposed to it. You know, if you're just sitting around sucking it up your nostrils on the daily, it can uh, it can cause some harm to you. So definitely um, be safe when you're using this stuff. But also, if you have used a part of the towel, if you'll see right here, there's a black mark on the towel. Don't use this again because then it'll smear black paint on your figure. Go to a new spot on the figure before you go to a different area. So you'll do the same thing. You put your finger underneath poke it in the hole, pour a little bit on there, and then just proceed to the figure and literally just wipe it straight off. Very, very effective, very fast, and you see it is instantly gone, so it's like the sham wow of, um, of customizing figures. Just like that, it is all gone. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy that quick little tutorial. Hope you did learn something. Again, um, ask your parents permission before using this stuff. It is very, very effective. If you want to, use a face mask as well because this stuff is very strong. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. Uh, leave some comments down below on other custom figure tips you would like to see. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.